looking out for you. Welcome back. A condiment company that started nearly a century ago is continuing its services from the Portland area. Cor Harlan joins us live from the family business Beaverton and Foods talking about its success and its history. Cor. Hey, good morning, Ken. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. We are about six days away from the Super Bowl. A lot of people are going to be making special foods for Super Bowl. And we thought maybe we'd come out here at Beaverton Foods this morning in celebration of all of the condiments that they make out here. And you recognize most of them because they're nationwide right now. And uh, they sell even beyond our borders. All of these good things that enhance the taste of existing foods. To my right, I have Dominic Biji. To my left, I have Jeff Biji. A guy and his nephew, right? Correct. That's right. All right. Let's talk about uh, Beaverton Foods a little bit. This is, uh, I think, uh, a lot of people know it's a local company, but I don't know. A lot of people know how far back Beaverton Foods goes. Yeah, my, my grandparents came from Italy in 1920s. My grandma started Beaverton Foods. She was a horseradish farmer in Beaverton. All that land in Beaverton is now all downtown Beaverton. All, all was horseradish farms. And, and she made horseradish out of the basement of that house yeah, until 2000 little, and something, right? Little farmhouse, yeah, just a, you know, with a, you know, very very simple thing. Why horseradish? Well, because it grew, right? So I mean, you don't go to Olive Garden and get a jar of horseradish, right? It's not exactly <laughs> a part of the Italian cuisine, but that's what grew here in in. in Beaverton, very, kind of famous for the quality of horse ration group. You've been here since 29 then, and you say you've got a lot of longtime employees that are making a lot of the uh, uh, growing number of products yeah. over the years, right? Yeah, we have a, you know 500 different items here. We have 100 employees. We're really proud that we have a lot of employees been with us 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. And so uh, just part of the family. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jeff, you kind of get into the R&D a little bit here under the hood. Tell me some, some of the, some of the nuanced things that people may not know off the top of their heads. Well, you know, a lot of our products, we use real honey. So instead of putting it with a bunch of sugar, if it's a honey mustard, it's got honey mustard in it. It's got honey, it's got honey in it. Um, a lot of these formulas, my grandfather developed on his own, um, was able to get into the R&D kitchen, not classically trained, not a chef, and really just knew what people liked. He was really a flavor guy. That's and what I love. Not an art, not a food person, just a guy with a good palate. Yeah, right? he, he used to say if he got classically trained, he would have never been able to come up with any of these. How so. many products in the in the line? We're looking probably somewhere between 50 and 60 between all of our lines. Plus, you know, we make about 400 to 500 for other uh, customers as well. Now, oh. Jeff told me. I asked him, "What's the difference between these two things? They're both kind of cream horseradish." He said, "If he told me, he'd have to kill me." That's not really true. That's not really true, okay? That's not really true, but that's cool. Those are a couple of brands that you'll see in the store shelves a lot. Here's another one, Ken, Emily, right here that kind of caught my eye. Cranberry mustard, good on a turkey sandwich, good on brie cheese, brie cheese over the top of that, just Charcuterie delicious. Boards. Charcuterie boards, just delicious. And I'll tell you what, again, this is my all-time favorite right here. I told you about that earlier. That's just delicious in the squeeze bottle. All sorts of squeeze bottles, glass jars for some of this stuff, just on and on. Production starts here in just a little bit. We'll be here, kind of watch it as we go on here this morning from Beaverton Foods, a hometown condiment company, Beaverton Foods, since 1929, with a lot of good things here that make what you got on your plate taste just a little bit better. Yeah, you say they uh, make uh, about 50 different condiments there. I could put all of them on a hot dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'd like to see you put great. all of them on the hot dog at one time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Might pass on that one. Cranberry mustard, though, that sounds like a match made in heaven for Thanksgiving leftovers. Yeah, we all yeah. lit up when he brought that one up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was not even aware about that. That right? was even a thing, but it's a thing now. I'm going to have to check yeah. that one out. Well, if you're headed to the grocery store to stock up on some of those condiments or get your uh, Super Bowl shopping taken care of, maybe save some of those errands for a little later in the